Hi, and welcome to another lecture session on change management. Dear students, in this lecture session, we're going to talk about the big heart and Harris change formula, uh, the two specialists and also the expert of organizational change. They come up uh, with the idea and with a model uh, which was presented for bringing uh, or introducing change in the organizations. Uh, this model includes, you know, uh, dissatisfaction, vision, first step, and also resistance to change. I'm Safiyo Lashinwari. So in this lecture, inshallah, we're going to uh, talk and explain all the four steps or the four stage formula of uh, the Beckhart and Harris that how the managers can use this model or this formula in order to bring change or initiate change in their organizations. As we all know, right, uh, that in the organizations, uh, top managers or, uh, you know, leaders or change agents, uh, they are generally responsible for bringing the change for, you know, uh, viewing a need for a change uh, in the organizations uh, before the employees do. Uh, because, you know, normally the managers are in a position or they are in authority uh, that they look for a change and they feel that the organization now need uh, a change to be brought. Uh, this change might be in the organization's policy, in the structure of the organization, or it might be in the strategy of the organization because the current strategy may not be working properly or the current organization structure uh, may not be effective or productive, or the current policies which they are using you know, in the organization uh, may not be you know, good enough uh, or not performing well for the organization. Or it might be change you know, even you know, uh, in employees or the way of working. So that's why the managers or the change agents, uh, they will change before the employees do. But normally, uh, as we know, they are responsible for bringing change but on the way uh, of bringing change, the managers, they, they face with some sort of resistance, uh, you know, on the way of the change initiative. And this, this resistance is caused uh, to them uh, by the individuals. And it means, you know, by the employees. Uh, because, you know, normally the employees, the way they're working or the way they are settled in the organization, they are happy with their current position. Uh, because, you know, nobody wants to be disturbed and nobody wants to take extra responsibility uh, until they do not uh, feel or they do not see their own benefits. You know, from, from the employee perspective, employees normally accept that change, uh, which, you know, give them kind of, you know, uh, like uh, benefits or they see that due to that change, uh, they are benefiting or they're receiving extra incentives. So then they're okay with that change. But... A change which is brought uh, in the organization in uh, the individuals or the employees they do not know exactly that what will be the result of this change uh, on them what will be the effect of this change on them so definitely they are going to show or put some resistance so that's why we say that you know managers on the way uh, to bringing a change will face some sort of resistance from the individuals uh, because you know change will affect uh, once the change is brought, it will affect the organization structure, the strategy, the employees, the individuals. So some people might be taken out of their comfort zone. Uh, it means, you know, they were relaxed in their work, but suddenly extra responsibility is given to them. Or we can say that, you know, some job rotations may take place or uh, some hiring and firing, you know, may happen in the organization. Uh, or uh, like the allocation of the resources, uh, it will change. So that's why, you know, it will disturb or it will have, you know, effect on the individuals in the organizations. So therefore, uh, they're putting resistance to that change. Uh, the big heart uh, in Harris uh, mathematical formula or uh, change equations aim to serve uh, as a simplified way. It means an easy way of analyzing the potential success or failure of a change initiative within the workplace. It means, you know, this uh, formula is helping uh, the organizations to bring a change in the working environment of the organization. So let's proceed that what this formula is all about. As you see on your screens, uh, the formula is D times V times F is greater than R. It means D times V uh, times F is overcoming R. So D stands for dissatisfaction, V stands for vision, F stands for first step, 
and R stands for resistance to change. So let's discuss uh, each element in further details. Coming to dissatisfaction. So D refers to dissatisfaction. It means uh, while the company is using you know, this formula in the first step, uh, the dissatisfaction, it means the organization is not happy with the current uh, situation or with their current operations and performances because it's not good enough or it's not productive. The organization is not achieving what they want. It means, you know, that their uh, working environment, their working operations are, are not doing well. It means they are not profiting enough, uh, you know, from the working environment, or uh, they do not have, you know, a good or strong or competitive position, you know, in the organization, uh, in in the market uh, or in the industry. So that's why, you know, the current situation is not offering them much uh, in terms of success or in terms of profit. Uh, that's why they're looking for a change. So the individuals can recognize the need for change of some kind. This factor is generally the fuel for initial change process. It means, you know, this is the time that uh, the change initiates uh, because, you know, the managers show kind of dissatisfaction with the current working uh, conditions or with the current operations of the business, which can be initiated or suggested by people throughout the organization hierarchy. Sometimes it, individuals can be unaware of need for a change. Mokabla mein guftim ke hamesha taghir ke as as did gay managers did hamesha wo ke as taghir me bi na wo zarurat ira ehsas me kena ki taghir baat aur dashawa. Achara ke wo amrae halat fili dissatisfied stan yani narazistan halat fili bai dara profitableness ya working environment ke filan idara dara u bai dara kabil successness and they cannot you know be succeeded or they cannot. Uh, become successful. As you know, they want to bring a change. What individuals hamisha zikas na khabar me bosha. Often it requires them being encouraged to consider the issue within the organization uh, and an individual. Who uh, zamani ki change over hamisha managers uh, they have to communicate. You know a need for a change to the employees, uh, to the stakeholders, to the shareholders, to the individuals that there is a need for a change because the current. A situation or the current operations of the business uh, are not productive and also uh, they are not good enough for the organization. Most of the individuals uh, communicate and clarify that the current, uh, current situation is not good enough. This is not good enough, so that, therefore you know, we need to go for a change. Uh, the next step that's called a vision. So, vision basically stands. Uh, uh, we stands for vision and it means when the organization brings change so they have to thank the managers that do they really have like a vision about the change uh, what 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 they could change you know agar yo mekha ki taghir biara so the moridi the moridi taghir yo by the vision da stavasha it means if the if the change is uh, introduced or brought so from the current state as a halat fili ke uh, change mesha ba halat ke the future me basha so what is their vision what they want to achieve it means you know from this for, from this uh, change what they what they want to like like achieve in future so that's why we say that the, uh, the managers they must have you know like a strong vision uh, and they must know that you know where they want to go and what will be the effect of this change and where the organization will be after this change uh, so if they have a strong idea and strong vision for a change then it should be very uh, good for the organization and, and, and they should go for the change. But uh, at this time, while there is no uh, having a vision for a change, they should consider the available resources and also uh, they should consider that uh, the current situation as compared to the situation, you know, uh, they are going for a change. Yani, yani, vision ek yada aur kida ainda misal baad is taghir yada kudam situation me baasha. U situation baad as current situation kada far better baasha. So responsibility over future vision generally lies with higher management. Oh, gufta me cha ke hamesha vision wo mission organization kya sura higher management set me kana. Zamani ki change aur da mesha. It means you know a change will be brought. E e change baad as vision a top management di deshawa. So uh, it is their task to convince those who would implement and work within the change. 
و و ایران باید مد نظر بگیره کسایی که چینج وارد میکنه سو so, وار باید انکارنج کرا موتیویت کرا و و ایرا برشن گفته شوا و کمیونیکیت شوا کی از چینج اداره چرا اچیو میکنه and they will improve the workplace environment even if they will potentially uh, alter individual employees everyday rules employees should uh, buy into both the short term benefits of the change which is being implemented but also the long term future of the organization as a whole kho kisme ko goftim ki big heart and hairs change formula khususan ba khatare working environment changes yani yeah, change the workplace mein bosha kho employees wa uh, you know individuals وہ بائی کنوینس شوا کہ ازی چینج یا دا شارٹ رن و دا لانگ رن بینیفٹس حاصل میں کہنا سو ونس یو نو دے آر ایگریٹ اور دے دے آر انکریج فار اے چینج دین دا آرگنائزیشن گن گو فار دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ اوکے دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ اٹس امپورٹنٹ دیٹ دا چینج از ریئلسٹک اٹ مینس دا چینج شوڈ بی ریئل اٹ شوڈ بی فیکچوئل اٹ شوڈ بی سم تھنگ وچ کین بی اچیوڈ ویژن یہ تو ایک ویژن بائی آرگنائزیشن یا مینیجرس انتخاب نہ کرنا یا یہ تو ایک چینج انتخاب نہ کرنا کہ وہ آئیڈیا یا اسٹرانگ نیس یا یس کہ وہ آئیڈیا بالکل ریئلسٹک نیس یعنی یعنی وہ چینج قابل اوردن نیس یا قابل قابل اچیو نیس اٹ مینز یو نو اٹس ناٹ اچیویبل چینج سو فرسٹ ریفرس ٹو دا پریکٹیکلٹی آف دا انیشیل ٹاسک ریکوائر ٹو ورک ٹوورڈس دٹ گول یعنی دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ ضرورت بھائی پائے ہمیشہ کہ در قدم اول کہ کرہائی عملی بخاطر تغیر شروع میشہ یعنی یعنی چی ضرورت مینیجرز دارا وٹ ریسورسز ڈو دے نیڈ ان وٹ یو نو آپریشنز اور پالیسیز ڈو دے نیڈ وٹ وٹ ایگزیکٹلی دے نیڈ ٹو برنگ اے چینج سو دا فرسٹ بھی تمام نقاط بعد مت نظر گرفتہ شوا کہ مینیجر ضرورت بچی دورا کہ تغیر وارد شوا یعنی تمام یہ چیزائے کہ بخاطر یک تغیر آوردن ضرورت اس او بائی آمادہ باشا انڈیویجولز امپلائیز نیڈ ٹو انڈرسٹین وٹ دے رول ول بی ان امپلیمنٹنگ دا چینج انیشیٹیو از وی مینشن بفور The employees and individuals should be communicated about the change. They should be encouraged for a change. So uh, in order to cooperate, uh, in order to make this change process successful. And also their, their role in change, uh, their participation or cooperation in change uh, should be realized and understood by them. Ibaid imozo ba employees communicate shawa. Ki they change wa kulam role lora. Wa role chan baid wazay shawa barshan. Their steps should be clear and easy to follow. خو چینج کے وارد میشا دا او قدم اقدامات کی صورت میں گرہو بائیت آسان باشا با 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 امپلائیز با مینجرز با تمام ارگنیزیشن تاکہ او فالو شا و او چینج سمود باشا اف چینج پروسس اپیرز تو موو فارورڈ وید جمپس تو بیک انڈیویڈولز ویل کوئکلی ایکسپٹ دا ان ریالیسٹک نیچر آف دا پروجیکٹ ان ویل لوز بلیوز ان موٹیویشن تو ورک ٹوورس دا ان گول یعنی بھئی مان زمانے کی گفتہ میں چاہیے کہ چینج پروسس اپیئرس ٹو موو فارورڈ ود جمپس ٹو بیک اٹ مینس بایو نمی مونرسن کہ اگر چینج ان ریئلسٹک باشا یعنی غیر واقعی باشا و امپلائیز ایرا فیل کنا کہ کلام تغیر کی یا وارد میں کنا یہ ان ریئلسٹک اس یا ریئل نیس یا اچیویبل نیس تن سو ڈیفینیٹلی دے ول لوز دیئر بلیف اینڈ آلسو دے ول بی ڈی موٹیویٹڈ دے ول ناٹ بی ہیپی یو نو فرام دس چینج Uh, to retain motivation, uh, each small progress goal should always be within sight of those attempting to implement. Yani, agar idara mein khaya ya managers mein khaya ki tamam ek karmandaish ki the change process involved mein washa, wo motivated mein washa. Har u goal ki misal qabil achieve achieve achievable asan, wo qabil implement yani u implement mein sha, wo qabil tadbiq as. Wo amra employees baat. شریک شوا و ہر و ہر پروسیس کے میشہ وہ ہمارے امپلائی بائیت شریک شوا امپلائیز شوڈ آلسو نو دا سٹیپس دے شوڈ بی ٹیکنگ ان آرڈر ٹو پرپیر فور دا چینج اٹ مینز ایز وی مینشن بفور دیٹ دا رول آف دا امپلائیز دا کوآپریشن آف دا امپلائیز ان آلسو دا ریسپانسبلٹی ان چینج شوڈ بی کلیریفائڈ ٹو دیم دیٹ وٹ آر دا سٹیپس ٹو بی ٹیکن بائی دا امپلائیز ان آرڈر ٹو برنگ دا چینج Uh, in any support which they will require should be agreed upon. So during the change, whenever the employees, uh, they, they need, you know, kind of support, it might be, you know, like, uh, like, like, you know, support, physical support, or it might be like a resource-based support they need uh, in order to bring the change. So the managers or the organization should 
agree and, and support them, you know, for that change, motivate them, that uh, the organization will stand, uh, you know, with them uh, in the change process. Uh, during and after implementation, it should always be uh, reinforced what their role is. So the managers, uh, during the change process, they should always, you know, support and reinforce uh, the employees, their role, their responsibility, their importance in the change process. Uh, all right, and was in shaping the present and future of the organization. So it should be like, like you know, uh, communicated to them that the employees, they play quite crucial role uh, in shaping the present and future of the organizations. I'm sure by the employees' case, value the shawa, wa bawai tori ek zehniyat ya mindset the shawa, ke the success of the organization is why a role is crucial dara, and they have uh, for sure. Wa yom bayt barshan communicate shawa ke whatever the present of the organization is in in the future of organization is, it's all about you know these employees. All right, the last step, you know, in the change process is uh, the resistance to change. So, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, if, if change is not benefiting the employees or if uh, the employees feel that, you know, the change is not benefiting them, so definitely they will put some sort of resistance. They will, they will uh, not agree upon the change. Uh, because, you know, this is a kind of uh, a human nature that uh, humans always want, want uh, stability, uh, they always want to gain, uh, you know, more, uh, lose nothing or lose less. Uh, so therefore, you know, uh, it's this kind of situation that where the employees or the people will dislike the change in the organizations. Uh, but still, you know, it's the responsibility of the managers. Uh, they have to communicate, they have to talk, uh, and they have to just convince the employees uh, that the change will benefit them positively, the change will give them more, and the change uh, will not, you know, affect negatively the employees. Uh, it's much simpler to take no risk, retain the status, the current status as it is, uh, than to alter uh, it enti entirely or generally when change is announced. Individuals will be resistant to it, though this can change over time with the correct uh, encouragement. As I mentioned before, uh, change is something inevitable. The organizations, they have to change. Uh, either uh, internally they need to change or either externally they need to change. Uh, either the internal or external forces uh, will force them for change. So it is something in inevitable or something unstoppable. Uh, those organizations that they are not bringing change, so they are not surviving, you know, in the international markets or even in the local markets. So change is something uh, like a need, like, like a very necessary or crucial thing. Uh, but still, uh, the employees, you know, they are showing some sort of resistance. So uh, the managers should take, you know, steps which can make, you know, the change process uh, more smooth uh, and also uh, make it, you know, like a kind of easy process and convince the employees, the shareholders and all those, you know, who, who are going to be affected by this change. Resistance to change is uh, quite simply the, the force uh, which needs to be overcome in order for the initiative to be successful. Yeah, as a moment, the change will always be the start of the change. It is important that resistance is the change that will be able to overcome. It will be able to solve the problem. Because you know, for the success of the change, it's important that all the members uh, and all the staff agreed upon the change. The product of the uh, left three variables must be convincing and powerful enough to exceed the resistance to change. So, oh, uh, say element a couple of key on them is on dissatisfaction as vision as or first step as I got down to manager see that Koshish gonna get dissatisfaction. It means current situation a color home needs to wait about employees You know understand gonna employees a before that, you know, we are not in good situation uh, Then you know they clear their vision to them that you know what will be the change how it will affect the change uh, how it will affect the organization how it will uh, affect you know the employees and then you know the first step you know where they plan properly where they involve all the employees you know in the change process and they show them their responsibilities convincing so it will make it more possible that the resistance to change uh, will be just you know like lesser and also uh, you know this 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 stage will be controlled you know uh, easily uh, uh, and also uh, the managers you know will make it uh, possible to convince the employees for change